I may have found a potential yet to be announced product by nothing that for some reason nobody's talking about, even though it was hidden in plain sight. Today I will share my findings and do a couple of renders of the thing. Nothing is a weird company. If there's something about them everyone can agree with is that their marketing is not exactly conventional. Most companies when they have to launch a phone they just launch the phone. Maybe they do an event, they send review units, everything leaks months and months in advance, you know, the usual stuff. But nothing, well, they tried something different. They held the presentation where they announced the phone, yes, but they didn't show it. They showed what we now know as the Glyph interface without telling us what it actually was, and that the phone was coming in the summer. That's it. That's the presentation. In the summer, as promised, they unveiled the phone. They started by teasing bits and pieces of the design, and a few days later, here it was. But that's not the whole story. For the 1st of April, not long after the previous event, they teased an incredibly generic phone to do the funny thing and say, ha, ah, you thought this was the phone? No, it was very predictable, but alongside the confirmation that it was all just a prank, they also showed this. And that was the actual first time we saw the back of the phone, but they didn't stop that. On their YouTube channel, even before the announcement of the phone, they were doing vlogs, showing a bit of their office life. And sometimes they would give hints as to what they were working on. The most famous hint was when they literally showed the phone the day before they showed the phone. But while watching the video, something else immediately caught my attention. Do you see it? Here. This is, I'm guessing, the book where they compile all of the design guidelines, rules and inspirations. I mean, it's literally called Nothing Design 1. But like, look at the cover. What's that? No, it's not the phone one, the shape is different, this one is very obviously square, and the coil thingy that the phone also has on the back, this time is fully circular, it's not truncated. It's also definitely not the year one case. So what is it? That's what I want to discover today. I tried to get some more angles of the book to see if I could extrapolate some other details, and I found some scenes where they show a couple of pages. I also found something incredibly weird. As you can see, in this shot, there's a writing there. What does it say? It's really blurry, but I'm pretty sure the first word is essential and the second could be something like R1, revision 1. Yeah, by the way, essential, like the phone brand, the one they acquired. If I remember correctly, they wanted to use their name for something. I'm still not sure why it's there, however, it doesn't make sense as a name for a single product. Perhaps this design dates back to a time when they were still deciding which name to use. But at the same time, the book is called Nothing Design 1, so... Anyway, using everything I could gather, plus the phone and the earbuds for reference, I made a little mood board on Figma to start creating a more refined version of what we can barely see here. Here's a basic sketch, which will be the basis for a 3D model of the thing. I didn't even try to get the various proportions all perfectly right, because this project has a deadline and I had other priorities, like giving distinct and meaningful names to all the various layers. Plus, it doesn't really matter now, does it? But after losing any sense of time on Blender, here's the finished model, which I really hope I don't have to update along the way after finding a better reference for a specific part I pretty much improvised since I only had an incredibly blurry photo to rely on. That would be hilarious, right? After marveling at my creation for a while, however, I realized something. I still have no idea what this is. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. This may not even be a product. After all, it's on the cover of the brand book. There is the concrete possibility of this just being a generic reference they use, an example of how a random nothing product could look like, not anything in particular. Only nothing can give us a definitive answer, but for now we can still speculate. Let's assume this is, in fact, a real product. Something we know for sure is that it has a wireless charging coil, otherwise we what would be the point of this. It doesn't seem to have a display, unless it's on the other side, but it's definitely not a smartphone because it's square. Those two black dots aren't just there because I like them by the way, they can be spotted in this image. I have no idea what they may be, but here they are. I made a list of all the possible candidates of what this could be. Option number one, a smartwatch. It's not impossible, but definitely unlikely. We can't see any sensors or buttons or a digital crown. And even if we assume this is the bottom part and the screen is on the other side, we don't even see watch bands. Option number two, a power bank. It would explain the coil because there do exist power banks that can recharge devices wirelessly. It would also explain this little window here, which could be showing the battery in a similar fashion to the phone one, but it's kind of an unusual shape for a power bank. They usually tend to be rectangular more than square. Plus, it doesn't even look all that big. Option number three, a wireless charging mat. This would explain the size and the coil, but not the window. But to be fair, 
No one says it must be showing a battery, so I think this is the most logical answer. Again, if we assume it's a real product in the first place. It would actually make a ton of sense. One of the main reasons why so many people like this brand is the unique design, which is not something you can say about many other companies. They could probably get away with releasing all kinds of accessories, even if they don't necessarily differ much from the competition besides the aesthetic, and I suspect they would sell regardless simply because of how they look and feel. That's what they did with the Ear Ones. How many true wireless earbuds come out every year? It's not easy for a new company to compete in such a market, and yet they did it. People like their style, it works, and I like their style a lot, both the hardware and the software. That's why I also made a concept of how I'd like Nothing West 2 or a future version in general to be, because that's what I do on this channel. Check it out if you want. Ciao!